Welcome to the NIFA application overview. In this video, I will go over the process of how to complete a NIFA application from start to finish. You will first log into your TEAL account through TEA. If you do not have a TEAL account, please contact your superintendent. They will be able to submit a request to TEA to grant you access. Once you're logged into your TEAL account, you will look under the Foundation School Program, also known as FSP, for your ISD or charter school. Please make sure that the NIFA user is listed as a role in the Foundation School Program. This will give you the ability to access the NIFA application. If you do not see the NIFA user listed as one of your roles, please reach out to your superintendent. Once you have selected your ISC or charter school, it should bring you to the FSP homepage. You should see your ISC or charter school name at the top of the page. On the homepage, make sure to check your county district number, also known as the CDN, and the appropriate school year. Sometimes, the CDN will display the word Texas and you will have to delete those words and manually input your CDN. Click update once you're done. You will then hover over programs and select NIFA. You will be taken to your ISD or charter school NIFA information screen. Here, you will only see information about your district. Since we are applying to create a new NIFA application, you will select Create a new NIFA application under Actions. Once the NIFA application opens, you will start by filling out the contact information. Please make sure the superintendent information is correct. The superintendent's contact information is required and cannot be left blank. As for the secondary contact information, it is optional. However, we highly recommend filling this section out with the person who typically fills out the NIF application and can speak on behalf of the content in the application. Also, please make sure to select the application and facility type for your district. The next section is the district and campus information. As you notice, the district's ADA and enrollment are pre-filled. You are responsible to fill in the remainder blank fields. That includes the campus name, the campus number, the projected campus enrollment, does this campus serve any grades nine through 12, number of district instructional days, expected first day of instruction in new facility, expected last day of instruction in new facility, expected instructional days in new facility. Once you have filled in everything, the estimated campus allotment will display. In the last section, you will upload all required documents. These documents will include a demolition plan, if applicable, a floor plan, a legal document, a photograph, and a site plan. Please read the instructions before trying to upload any required documents. You will need to upload all required documents before you can submit the NIFA application. Once all files have been attached, you will see it look like this. You are then ready to submit the application to the superintendent. Here's an example of how the first two sections should look once you have input your district's information. After you click Submit to Superintendent, it should bring you back to your ISD or Charter School NIFA information page. You will see the application you completed in Save Status. Please reach out to your superintendent and have them log into their TEAL account following the same process as you did at the beginning of this video. They will go into the NIFA application you created to make any necessary changes if needed and then approve the application so that it is sent to TEA for review. Superintendents will see the entire application as well as this certification statement. The little box 
will have to be checked before one can submit it to TEA for review. Once the financial analyst has reviewed your district's NIFA application, if approved, the status will change from say to approved. If there is any additional information needed throughout the review process, the financial analyst will reach out to you. There will also be communication before an application is ever rejected. Please keep in mind that all NIFA applications must be reviewed completely before funds are sent to the Summary of Finance. A campus is eligible for NIFA for the first two years it is operational. Unfortunately, there is no retroactive funding. If the deadline has passed for a campus opening this school year, it is still eligible to apply for the next school year using a one-year application type. A one-year application allows the campus to receive funding for all students in ADA during the second year of operation at that campus. To be considered for a second year of funding, the district must reapply for NIFA for the campus. We call this a follow-up application. The follow-up application is simpler and submitting a follow-up preserves a campus ability to receive NIFA. If an unforeseen event brings increased enrollment to a new campus, that campus will only be considered for NIFA if the district submitted a follow-up application. Many campuses receive a $0 initial estimate for their second year of operation due to a forecast of little to no enrollment growth. However, many of these same campuses also end up receiving some funding based on an increase in ADA during the second year of operation. If there are additional questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to the NIFA Financial Analyst. Thank you, and this concludes how to complete a new NIFA application from start to finish.